in one of my last videos, I showed you the closed stance forehand. And that was basically how I was taught in the early 80s. Ooh, tennis has changed a lot since then. And different footwork patterns have developed. Different footwork patterns that allow you to adjust to the now much faster balls. Technology, rackets, strings, all have sped up the game and you need to adjust to that. One of those footwork patterns is the open stance forehand. And that still allows you to hit the ball when you're being pulled out wide in a balanced and, yeah, if you master a pretty powerful way. The open stance forehand is a great option and much the preferred option when you're being pulled out wide. Your body weight is moving this way, so it wouldn't make too much sense then to force yourself into a closed stance, which is more the preferred shot when the ball is coming through the middle of the court. The open stance will allow you to move to the outside. And for me as a right-hander, my outside leg, my back leg, is the right leg. And what I do with an open stance is I'm absorbing the energy. The body weight is pulling me this way anyways. So I'm absorbing here, but at the same time now I create and store energy. And the beautiful thing is the body weight then transfers back into the direction that I have to move anyways. If you're receiving a regular rally ball, and by that I define that it is a ball that does not cut the single sideline before it passes the baseline. So a ball that doesn't have the greatest angle, a regular adult should be able to cover the ground towards an open stance forehand with three steps. Of course, as your opponent is hitting the ball, you want to split step. But on top of the split step, your brain is already computing that you have to move to your right if it's a forehand for a right hander. For a lefty, of course, it's the other way around. And your hip and your foot, as you're landing, will already set out. The next step will be a crossover because this here allows you to grab a lot of room fast. So split, come here, and then you have one more additional step out wide. And then you're set up behind the ball with your outside or with your back leg. Different coaches call it different things, but it is the same leg. It's the leg that is closer to the ball. So for me, it's the right leg. Your open stance will be more of an angular movement. Your body weight is moving this way and you're basically rotating around the axis here of your midline. So I'm coming around here and that is where I'm transferring the body weight from my outside leg to my inside leg here. Whereas the closed stance is more of a linear movement. It's going more forwards. What happens if you're being pulled out further and you are actually getting a ball that has an angle? You continue running. The fastest way you can go to the balls if you're turning as if you were sprinting. So I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. My last step will still be that open step. My hips are open, my shoulders will then be open once I'm hitting the ball. Of course, my upper body preparation, how I'm coiling, how I get my hips and my shoulder around, they stay the same. Whether I'm having to cover a lot of distance, whether I'm hitting a closed stance, or I'm being pulled out very far. To get the proper distance, the proper spacing on your last wider step, you might need adjustment steps. And the adjustment steps will happen before you set your last wide step. So here, this last step again is to absorb and then create energy. The adjustment steps help you to gauge the perfect distance to your last strike. If you've never worked on the open stance forehand before, here's a great drill progression that goes from simple to more complex, from slower to faster. I could have moved up a little bit more. Yep, that's where my contact point is. And now, of course, when I'm starting with this drill, I have to add my recovery. And this is where you use the crossover step the second time. So I'm loading here and I'm transferring my body weight from my right to my left. Let that energy spill over into a crossover step and then shuffles to your bisector of an angle. Next drill, to feel the weight transfer, use a weighted ball. This is about two pounds. OK, 
catch here, absorb, and then release. Next step is you're hitting. Either somebody feeds the ball, tosses it, use the ball machine. Make sure that you're using the proper footwork to move to the ball and then also recover properly, again, to your bisector of an angle. Ooh, got in there too close. There we go. Tactical decision making. When you're being pulled laterally, I would consider that to be a more passive shot. And what you want to do with that when you are on defense, because if you're running, you're most likely going to be slightly off balance, even if you're using the proper technique, I would go back cross court. I would not try to change direction, especially when you're behind the doubles alley here, unless, unless your opponent hangs somewhere in that fence over there. Then you'll probably get away with changing direction. But if you're moving aggressively, defensive and defensive is cross court. Now that you mastered the open stance point, if you want to go back to the closed stance, check out that video right here.